Okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and make a meatloaf. i got two pounds of ground beef in here. We're going to add one packet of onion soup mix. We're going to add in two cups of the french fried onions. We're going to add in three eggs. We're going to add in one cup of beef stock. We're going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, and we are going to add in two teaspoons. If everybody can please remember to like and share, that would be greatly appreciated. The next thing you're going to need is, you can either use a sleeve of crackers or a box of the stovetop. I'm going to use the savory herb. Use whatever flavor that you like. And we're going to put that in there. Let's add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. You can add in one bell pepper, small chopped, or I'm going to use the dry bell peppers. You can get these off of Amazon. We also dehydrate our own, but you're going to need two tablespoons of the dry or one fresh chopped. Now we're going to go ahead and mix this all together. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to try to put it in my 10 inch cast iron skillet and flatten it all out. And we're going to bake this for a little bit and then we're going to put a topping on top of it in about 30 minutes after it's in the oven. I got it in my 10 inch skillet. We're going to put this in 350 degrees for 30 minutes and then we're going to pull it out and we're gonna make a topping, put it on top, and then we're gonna put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so we will see you back here in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna make a topping up while I'm waiting for my oven to preheat. I got a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna put a half a cup of ketchup. And we're gonna put one teaspoon of mustard. And after our 30 minutes of our meatloaf being in the oven, we'll come out, put our topping on, and we'll put it back in the oven. And a teaspoon, and I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. And let's just mix this up. And this is going to be our topping. I have family cookbooks available. I'll put the link above this post and below in the comments if you want to get yourself a copy of that. All right, so we'll be back here in just a little while to top off our meatloaf. All right, y'all, it's been 30 minutes, so we're going to take our topping and we are going to spread it around on the top of our meatloaf and then we're going to pop it back in the oven for about 20 more minutes. Okay. Spread it around. All right, so I will see you back here in 20 more minutes. All right, y'all, it's all done. It's been in there for 15 minutes. It only took 15 instead of 20. So this is what we're gonna have for dinner. So give this a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. The link for the cookbook will be above this post and below in the comments. And I hope everybody gives this a try and has a wonderful day.